What is up, guys? It is your boy, Main Mania, and welcome back to another episode of MK Mobile. Ladies and gentlemen, the Twisted Tower is here, and it came along with a couple of surprises. Nothing too great, though. First things first, I'm pretty sure we're going to get a tower pack from this. So why don't we go ahead and win our first battle so we can get that free pack and see what we end up with. Um, and then we'll take a look at the tower rewards. Hey, listen. And then after the tower rewards, we'll talk about the equipment pieces. So we'll try to jam pack a lot of stuff in there. I don't know how I feel about this update, you know, if I'm being honest, but what are you going to do? All right, we're going to do that. We're just going to play an auto real quick. Ugh. Kano needed that kill. Damn it. We'll get a special two win here. And uh, let's see what our... Well Tower pack will include. Wish me luck, ladies and gentlemen. That's not what I want. Give me my pack. I don't like this new uh, task system, the trial system, because you have to manually claim your rewards. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't know about you guys, but you guys let me know. We did get our free pack though, so let's see what tower gear we'll be starting off with. We'll go one by one, make it more interesting. I feel like I haven't opened up a pack like this in a long time. So we got the Carnival Swill, 30% resistance to fire. Okay. Wait, that was it? That was it? We just get one piece? Well, that was underwhelming. All right, let's look at the tower rewards, guys. Let's look at the tower rewards. Day of the Dead Katana. We finally get another chance at MK11 Sindel. What is that? Two or three percent? A random diamond and combat Cassie? Like, why is she even in this category? Guys, it's a travesty. It is a travesty that they would even include Combat Cassie in that conversation. It's just flat out disrespectful. But the good news here is we'll get an uncommon at 30. We'll get another uncommon at 70. We'll get a rare piece at 110, which I'm all about. Another uncommon at 150. And either a rare or uncommon at 190, with the main reward being at 200. So, not the best, but a chance to get two rares along the way to battle 200. So, not bad. Not too thrilled about this combat Cassie reward, though. I got to be honest, that is extremely, extremely disappointing. But nonetheless, that's what it is. So let's take a look at the uncommons first. We've got three accessory pieces. Decoy Invitation is the first one. It's going to give you a 50% chance to drain 33% power on special one and you'll gain 20 percent more power from hitting an opponent i think this is a pretty solid piece this is a good piece to add power drain to a character that does not have power drain on special one uh this actually feels like it would be a solid addition to a character that has something like snare on special one because you not only give the opportunity to snare, but you also give a 50% chance to power drain at the same time. So two very strong SP1 effects uh, due to this piece. So I can see this piece getting worked into people's builds in the future, and I definitely think it's gonna be usable. The next one is what we ended up getting, which is the Carnival Swill. 100% resistance to fire. 
I think this piece is a very necessary evil right now. Very necessary evil because at the end of the day, Fire God Liu Kang as a boss character has been an absolute nightmare for beginner and intermediate players. Uh, even some advanced players are struggling or have struggled with it as well. So I definitely think that this piece is the necessary evil and you're definitely gonna wanna get this piece uh, maxed out, especially if you don't have a character that's immune to fire that can get that damage done that's needed against Fire God Liu Kang. So this piece combined with Incurable should uh, help make those boss fights a lot easier for the future. Next up, the final uncommon piece, Training Grounds, and this piece is trash. By all means, this piece is trash. Uh, there is no sugarcoating it. 40% uh, basic attack damage boost and a 25% chance to apply bleed on a combo ender, it's, it's not gonna be very good or very usable in the future, so yeah. Let's move on to the rares. The rare equipments have been getting really good lately, guys. I don't know what you guys think, but I think the rares have gotten really good lately. So we'll start off with one of Terminator's uh, brutality pieces. That's the Time Traveler's Cool Factor. And at Fusion X, it's gonna give you a 50% incoming dot and dark magic damage reduction. That, um, that doesn't sound too bad on paper, but in addition to that, you will regenerate two bars of power over 10 seconds when below 50% health. This effect cannot be triggered more than one time without tagging out and up to three times per match. Guys, that is actually pretty damn strong. Two free power bars over 10 seconds when you hit under 50% health. Get that special off, tag out, potentially recover some more, get back in. If it happens again, boom. Two more free bars of power that can be really strong on a character that has a really good sp2 so that sounds pretty solid but there's more any positive combat effect on the wearer excluding regeneration lasts 30 percent longer so pretty solid as well um you know if you've got strength in or you've got um speed and things like that uh, that will definitely add to the effect. So not a bad piece, not a bad piece. Is it going to be one of the top rare pieces you own? Probably not. But that regeneration of two bars of power and it being able to trigger three different times, that can be pretty solid. So I don't think that's a bad piece at all. Next up, we have Tamer Sinful Whip. 45% unblockable chance. This is one of Sindel's brutality pieces, and I think it's great off the rip. Why? Because unblockable is king. You guys know the deal. Unblockable is king. And 45% basic attacks unblockable already puts it in a really solid position. So next up, what does it do? Well, it has a 35% chance to apply a random negative effect on combo enders. Negative effects include Bleed, Fire, Poison, Blind, Weaken, Cripple, Curse, and Shield Break. That is pretty solid, guys. A positive negative combat effect on a combo ender plus unblockable. That's, 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 that's solid. I like that. I like that. In addition to that, it also has a 60% damage boost against enemies affected by Bleed, Fire, Poison, or any of those negative combo effects. So you're getting a 60% damage boost on top of that if you land one of those combo enders that causes a random negative effect. So I definitely think that's going to be one of your stronger rares going forwards if you can get this piece to Fusion X. Uh, really, really, really solid piece. Next up, we've got the Weekend Dad and this piece is going to be meta. This is going to be one of your top rare pieces going forwards because guys look at this you gain shield at the start of the match and on tag in for 15 seconds that not only gives you tag in protection and special protection but that's also going to give you starting circle of shadow Liu kang protection and starting x-ray protection in survivor as well on top of that successful basic attacks have a chance a 25 percent chance to vampire 50 percent damage so this piece also gives you the opportunity to heal from basic attacks. 
And if you achieve 90% on any special attack, it applies Oblivion for 10 seconds. So yeah, those shields, plus a chance to heal on basic attacks, plus a guaranteed Oblivion if you can hit your mini games. This is gonna be a really solid rare going forward. It's definitely um, gonna be probably top five of the uh, rare pieces that exist. So now let's take a quick look at the epics. Uh, I haven't even glanced over these just yet, so this is gonna be interesting. Sindel's epic, Tamer's Hessian Boots. 55% max health boost, a 30% power gen boost. And for Sindel, she has a 70% chance to scream when her teammate is being attacked with a special attack. The scream deals low damage, applies slow to the opponent, and slightly heals Sindel. And if the opponent is affected by any debuff, they deal 40% less damage from special attacks against the user. The health and power gen is nice, but I need to see what this piece is at fusion, at no fusion, because I need to see where things start at and with these, some of these uh, bonuses are fusion X passives or if they're, you know, built into the lower tiers as well. I'm going to need to take a look at that because um, this piece doesn't sound too great. It, it sounds underwhelming. And once again, I'm, I'm looking at it from, from a perspective of if you're not one of the whales, you're not getting this diffusion X. So it doesn't matter what it does to Fusion X because you may never see that. You know, we got to kind of look at the epics at what they do at Fusion Zero. Um, so, yeah, I'm not really too sure, but Power Gen plus Max Health Boost is definitely a nice touch. Uh, let's move on to the Misfortune Teller. So you've got a 100% chance to apply Curse to the whole opponent team on a successful special one. Interesting. And then you have a 70% crit chance boost against enemies affected by curse. Misfortune Foresight gives a 30% chance to gain invulnerability for five seconds before any incoming special attack. That's interesting. That's interesting. Well, you know, invulnerability is, is pretty damn strong, so... Once again, got to look at these from a Fusion Zero perspective because that may be the Fusion X passive and you'll probably never see that. So uh, we'll have to look at that when the time comes, but so far, not bad. 100% chance to cause curse on special one and a 70% crit chance against enemies affected by curse. So really strong stats, but once again, it's always going to depend on what they are at no fusion. Next up, favorite toy. On special two, there's a 100% chance that the seal will throw his explosive toy at the opponent, applying cripple and dealing 5% max health damage. There's a 40% damage boost against enemies affected by a cripple. Okay. And you get one bar of power on Tagin and at the start of the match when equipped on a starting character. Now, is that a Fusion X passive or is that once again, a no Fusion automatically baked in passive? That, that may be the Fusion X passive. I wish they would indicate what the Fusion X passives are specifically with like an X, you know, on, on these, um, on these, on these uh, 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 equipment explanations. But unfortunately they do not do that, but um. I don't know, this sounds like another demon bat type of, of effect. Uh, it doesn't sound too thrilling, but that one bar of power on tagging and at the start of the match sounds really strong. The only problem with that is if it's a Fusion X passive, once again, if you're not a whale or a pay to win player, you're not seeing that. So this piece may be pretty bad uh, at Fusion Zero, but we'll have to uh, wait and see what that looks like. And finally, Terminator's other brutality piece, his epic Time Traveler's Arms Cache. 100% chance to gain strength in after a special attack, and it can stack up to three times. And each next special attack deals 10% more damage than the previous, stacking up to five times. This sounds exactly like that, um, that strength in piece that uh, is from one of the other towers. What's it called again? 
I like to use that piece too. I definitely like to use that piece. Well, I know the Divine Tornadic Pauldron is what gives the strength in stacks, but it, it, it seems like this is basically a combination of the Divine Tornadic Pauldron and Smuggler's Luck. Um, it kind of sounds like that. It's, it's almost like they're bridging the two of them together. Uh, but, you know, that's still a pretty, pretty, pretty solid thing there because Strength In definitely uh, gives you that extra damage. And that can be really strong against bosses, especially in this tower specifically. So, pretty solid. For Terminator on opponent's tag out, there's a 50% chance the opponent will be stopped from leaving by a grenade dealing formidable damage and applying stun for three seconds. And special attacks deal 20% of damage to all opponents. Oh, wow. That is... That can be really strong. Once again, that looks like a Fusion X passive. That sounds like a Fusion X passive, but that can be strong in boss fights. Like imagine doing a special and 20% of every special was getting done to the tagged out bosses. That can definitely save you a couple of rounds, you know, in, in, in boss fights, depending on how strong your team is. So um, not bad on the equipment pieces so far. The two pieces that, you know, for me are must haves our Tamer's Sinful Whip and Weekend Dad. I think those two pieces are, are going to be extremely solid. And I look forward to hopefully getting those maxed out. So, yeah, so uh, jumping back into the tower, I'm not too excited about that uh, Battle 200 reward, including a gold Cassie. Like, I don't care if you guys think she's special, uh, WB, but she's not. Co-op Cassie is a better third wheel to the Combat Cup team than Combat Cup Cassie is. You know, I know that she has more synergy as far as what they gave her and built into her kit, but Co-op Cassie still works out better as a third wheel. Um, I don't know, man. I, I We have a chance at Sindel, but I don't know if it's going to happen. You know, Taken was just telling me in Discord right now, we should start up a new challenge. First person to get Sindel. You know, I don't want to have my heart broken again. I really don't. I was going to say, oh, yeah, we can race to see who's the first to get Sindel and who's the first to get Fujin. But, you know, I, my, my heart can only take so much heartbreak, guys. My heart can only take so much. I don't I don't I don't want no more problems. <laughs> but maybe we'll do that to keep things exciting, especially as we approach Battle 200. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the tower, that is the equipment. Let me know how you feel about the equipment pieces in the comment section below. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys in the boss fights. So if you're new to the channel and not yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video to show it some love. And if you wanna show extra love, you can do so by hitting the join button or the thanks button. So until our next boss fight, y'all will have to stay tuned until next time with Main Mania.